Hi, and welcome. My name is Brooke Oberg. This is the bureau in the basement. Right now, I will go through the first four exercises in the mat Pilates workout. That's the beginner system. So it will be the 100, the roll up, leg circles, and rolling like a ball. I hope you really enjoy it. Before we lie down on the mat to do that, let's start with three full diaphragmic breaths. And as you inhale, I want you to visualize and you can even feel your own ribs expand away from one another and think about the back of the ribs as well expanding away from the front. And as you exhale, think of the ribs pulling toward one another, giving yourself a nice little hug and find that lift, that narrowing action as the ribs pull together. So you're rooting your sit bones down and lifting your crown tall. So you're expanding your spine, your posture from the floor of your pelvis to the roof of your mouth. Okay, so here we go. If you can't sit comfortable, comfortably excuse me, on your mat, sit up on a chair, put a blanket or a block underneath your two sit bones so you can be vertical in your spine and you're not already in a state of collapse. Okay, so sit tall, hands to sides of the ribs. We'll inhale for count of three. Pause at the top. And then exhale without collapsing. We pull in, we root down, and we lift up. And we just give this general hug of our abdomen, seat muscles around our pelvis spine. Again, inhale. And exhale. Rooting to rise. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Rooting to rise, so you're narrowing and you're pulling to midline. Remember that breath as we move through our practice. So let's start lying on our backs, feet flat on the floor. Take a moment, draw your thighs away and arc your little spine and anterior tilt, lengthen. And then exhale, posteriorly tilt. Inhale, lengthen, anterior. Exhale, posterior. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, posterior. Good. Now go side to side. I'm just warming up. Go to the left hip, inhale. Right hip comes up. And exhale, go to the right hip. Left hip comes up. Just feel the, the body weight change on the feet. So just feel that awareness all the way down through your legs. Good. And then come back to center. Do a little pelvic clock so you go up and down and side to side. Maybe three times in one direction. Inhale, arc and lengthen. Exhale, imprint, come back up and reverse. Inhale, arc and lengthen. And exhale. And you can go big or small with these. Feels sort of good, just unwinding. Okay, and then we, we want to find a balanced place to start. So we want to work the muscles in a balanced way. So Find a nice neutral pelvis so we're not arched forward, we're not tucking under, we're not going to one side or the other. We find balance, so do the best you can. Ground your feet, anchor your waistline, lift your pelvic floor up to the crown, and then we'll reach the arms long. Nod the chin to the chest, and without letting the belly pooch out, we'll exhale the belly in. So deep breath. Exhale, waist ribs pull in, abdomen pulls in and up as you curl the spine up. And you just can go side to side here a little bit. Keep grounding your feet, feeling your hamstrings. Check yourself out, make sure your belly is not pooching out. And if this is too much, you can lower the head back down. You try to keep curling up so the head shoulders are off. Wide collarbone, arms are long. Breath in, breath out. Now we'll take 10 full breaths and pumping your arms, inhaling. And exhale. Then inhale. And exhale. Get the blood pumping. Inhale. And exhale. If you can keep your stable pelvis, go ahead, both the legs to tabletop. Squeezing your feet together. Lifting from the floor of the pelvis to the roof of your mouth. Maybe lengthen the legs. That's a little more advanced and lower the legs away from your center. Three more full breaths. Squeeze your heels, tone your waist. Last breath. 
Hold, bend the knees, and we'll rock and roll up to seated. Very good. Half roll down. So heels are down, toes are lifted, feet are hip distance, hip distance width parallel. Lift, grow your spine, so lengthen, hinge, create space, and then the head and the pelvis, the whole spine has to C-curve, move into flexion, and we'll begin to roll the back down. Draw the tailbone under to articulate those lowest backbones. Go to where you can sustain your heels down. And then exhale, pull the waist, ribs, sternum, throat back as you round to come up. Keep your round, and again, inhale. Low back, mid back, maybe upper back. Exhale, pull the belly, the ribs, the throat, the sternum in. Keep your round. So keep going like this. Inhale to go back, keep your round, exhale to come up, keep your waistline pulling away from your thighs, release your head, and only if it feels good, zipper your thighs together, roll the pelvis under and down, articulate one bone at a time, and then the arms come up, and maybe behind you, without letting your back leave the mat, float your arms up, inhale, curl the head, maybe hands to thighs, exhale, pull the stomach back, ribs, throat, Maybe fully extend the leg. Again, inhale, bend the knees to support that round, that articulation. Maybe fully extend the arms and legs without letting your back leave the mat. Hug those inner thighs, keep a nice neutral pelvis. Inhale, curl. Exhale again, pull the belly back. Round, 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 round. Hugging that central line. Let's try one more together. It's called a roll up. Again, you want to keep prioritizing length and space. Draw your tailbone under, low back ribs. Exhale, full extension. Reaching long, long, long. Inhale, knot the chin. Exhale, low belly, ribs. Pull back and in. Rounding up and over. Reach, 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 reach. I'm reaching forward as much as I'm pulling back. Good, and then reset your spine, draw the pelvis under you. Let's roll back down for our leg circles. Bend the knees for a second. It's good to start leg circles with the knees bent, feet firmly planted to prioritize your seat, pelvis firmly grounded. You wanna find stability in your hips and a balanced way. So make sure your hips aren't tucking, make sure you're not overarching, you're not to one side or the other. You're in a neutral place, and there's some awareness there. Float the right leg up, and then lower, and float the left leg up. And can you maintain the stability, the sense of stillness, in your waistline, in your pelvis? So you gotta pull the stomach in, draw the frontal hip points in. And then float the right leg up, keep the shoulders back, ribs anchored, Maybe extend the left leg long, point to your right toes, and we'll circle the leg across the middle, around and up as you exhale. So circle, leading from your glute center. Keep a stable pelvis. Two more. Keep growing your spine in opposition to your leg. Reverse your circle. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale. And exhale, stable pelvis. Exhale, last one. Good, and then bend the knee, hug it in. And we'll do other side. So start with the knees bent, do a little pelvic lift, recenter your pelvis, hug the muscles in, pull the left leg up. And only if you feel like you can extend the leg without changing the position of your pelvis, do that. Reach the leg, drive it underneath your heel like you're standing in this leg. And inhale, cross your midline, exhale around and up. I'm keeping my thumbs at the bottom of my ribs and my fingers at my hip points, and I'm sensing some connection between the two. I'm alert in my standing right leg. I lead from my left butt, um, pelvic center, low pelvic center. Inhale, one more. It's not easy, that's for sure. Reverse, standing nice and tall on your back. You can start small with these circles and go bigger, only if you can sustain that support and that stability. Twice more. Inhale to travel and exhale to lift. 
and bend the knee, plant both feet down. And then let's go ahead and roll to the side or rock and roll up to seated. We're rolling with a ball. So last exercise, pull the heels in. You want to lift tall. And then again, your two ends run around. Tailbone under, round your upper thoracic, cervical spine, pull the heels in. You'll take an inhale, holding onto your shins or hamstrings is fine. And then exhale, you squeeze your heels and pull the stomach in to pull the heels to you. Inhale, relax. Exhale, you keep your round, pull the heels to your bottom. So there's this flexion in your knees. Pull the heels to your bottom, feel the glutes, hamstrings. Inhale and exhale. Now sustain your ball shape, rolling like a ball, heels to bottom. Round your spine, bottom to top, elbows wide. Release your chin to your chest, throw it back, let's go lift it. So can you keep this ball shape? And then inhale from your pelvis, roll the pelvis under and up, and then exhale right back up to balance. Inhale, keep your ball, keep the chin to the chest, heels to your bottom. So go five more, practice. Inhale, exhale. Rounding, broadening your back. I think about pressing the back of my heart down to lift my pelvis up, lengthening my pelvis out of my back of my heart. Keep my chin to the chest so I don't roll on my head. So twice more. Just massaging your spine, one bone at a time. There, and then maybe ch check your balance with the arms, with the legs, this is called teaser. And then plenty, and then we'll end you there. So I hope that was useful. If you're new to Pilates, practice it every day. Remember, keep this center stable in a balanced place, feeling all sides, all muscles participate in a balanced way. All right, have a beautiful day.